if I could pick, it's either Lemachenko, yeah. and if they go fight each other, uh, I say Zepeda. Why, why does Zepeda keep saying my name and clout chasing me, and then won't fight me? If I tell you I'm good, probably you will say I'm boasting. But if I tell you I'm no good, you know one line. <laughs> Yo, what's good, YouTube? It's your boy, Dr. PGNG. And praise got to get money back for another YouTube video. Banger, man. Yes, sir. Yes, man. I don't know what time it is. The doctor's in the house. Check this out, man. So we have uh, today, you know, we got the um, in, pre in preparation for the Shakur Stevenson versus Artem Hunting and, you know, uh, showdown on July 6th, which is Saturday. You know, we've been a lot of talk about Shakur Stevenson, rightfully so, especially with this fight being considered as his last raw, his last attempt to be able to make a statement and look good um, due to his pending free agency, his upcoming free agency, you know what I'm saying? And, um, you know, it's, it, it's, it's undetermined right now whether he's going to re-sign with top rank or he's going to uh, seek to sign with somebody else like a matchroom, like a PBC, like a Golden Boy, you know what I'm saying? And and during the dur during the buildup, you know, like I said, there's been a lot of Shakur talks, you know, and we've been talking about um, how come he's pretty much been avoided by everybody else, you know, especially in the, one, in the 135 division. But you, you can even say it stretches further up, you know, to the 140 division with Tiafimo and all that too. But, you know, a lot of people, when they talk about him um, not getting a chance by these other superstars of his current division, like like Javante Tank Davis, you know, you know, they, they like to focus their attention on the aforementioned Javante Tank Davis, yeah. you know what I'm saying? I, I want Shakur and Javante to fight just like everybody else, man. To me, after Bivol and Betterbiev and Canelo and Benavidez, I want Tank and Shakur. However, you know, um, we have, when you have people like Pauli Malignaggi, you know, and, <laughs> and others screaming at the top of their lungs saying, yeah, Tank should fight Shakur, you know, Tank should fight Shakur. Well, they don't make demands of the all, all all of the superstars of the big name fighters who don't fight Shakur Stevenson. Wait a minute! Wait, wait a minute! For those of for those fans out there who say, "Oh, he's not gonna hold him off. He doesn't have enough power. He'll get knocked out." So demand the fight. But wait, there's more. Obviously, your guy doesn't believe it as much as you do. Or the fight would happen, right? And you know, if if, if you think that your guy's so great, then you should demand these fights. And if he could knock out everybody, then knock out Shakur. You know, he did. He said that there's so many words, but you know, no one screams for Lomachenko for well, for for, uh, for for getting a knockout. You know, what I'm saying no one screams that Lomachenko's going to knock anybody else. So you know, he he basically just was talking about Tank, and yeah. I want that fight just like everybody else. But you know, when he talks about. Um, other stars giving Shakur a chance at 135. You know, Javante's not the only star. Um, in fact, there's a star named Vasily Lomachenko, and coincidentally, he's on the same promotion company as Shakur. In fact, Lomachenko has been at 135 and top ranks is 2018. Shakur has been signed to top ranks is 2017. You know what I'm saying? So they've been together for a long time in the same division. So why don't we keep the same energy, you know, for somebody that's even more realistic than the Shakur Javante fight, which would be the Shakur and Lomachenko fight. And and you know what's even, even more coincidental is that Shakur has been calling out Lomachenko for a very long time. In fact, he even gave him a nickname, Duckchenko. <laughs> He called him Duck Chenko or, or Scary Chenko. You know what I'm saying? So he gave him a nickname, you know, uh, instead of the Matrix and No Mas, which I, you know, I want to be very clear, though. I'm not saying that Lomachenko is scared of anybody. I'm not saying Tank is scared of anybody. I'm not saying Shakur is scared of anybody. I think Shakur wants to fight. He deserves a fight. However, um, you know, it's so funny because even in this article right here, you can see where it shows that, you know, it, it's Shakur's call for Lomachenko, a, 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 a desperation plea, a plea out of desperation. And people really feel this way. So I want to know, like, why don't people want Shakur and Lomachenko to fight? They've been on the same. That, that's that's the easiest fight to make. They're all they're in the same stable. They're in the same promotional company. They were both with Bob Arum in top rank. That's the most realistic fight, most easiest to facil to facilitate. So yes, I do want Shakur versus Tank, just like everybody else. But I also like Shakur versus Loma, and also Loma versus Tank. You see the common denominator here. So while we always blame the other side, you know this is on the same side. You know what I'm saying? So, you know, so I, I think that um, I think that we should tell the whole story. And I think that uh, Lomachenko should fight, should fight Shakur. And he probably should have been fought Shakur. And, and hopefully we get all these guys to fight, you know, Tank versus Loma, Loma versus Shakur, Shakur versus Tank. You know, even even throw Teofimo and Devin Haney in there and some mix. You know, we want all these guys to fight. You know, in fact, <laughs> Teofimo and Lomachenko fought, you know, but they were on the same on the, on the same promotional company. That was a long time ago. And it was, it was seen as an upset. So I don't think that. uh. That, that that Bob Aaron anticipated that to happen, you know what I'm saying? But I just think that um, 
yeah, Shakur should get the opportunity, uh, whether it's with Tank or with, whether it's Lomachenko or whatever. But this is why I think that uh, 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 Shakur should leave um, uh, top rank because, you know, top rank is not even going to give him a fight with the, the easiest fight to make. And that's with Lomachenko. He hasn't been getting that fight. So why would you stay with stay with top rank where they already showed you that they're not interested to give you the best fights? Now, now could something change? Yeah, something could definitely change. Maybe Bob Aaron wants to let Tank and Loma fight first and then, and then Shakur – gets Loma whether he wins or loses you know maybe that's an option too but it's just been so long and stalling out his career I think it would, it, would, it, would, it would behoove him to go elsewhere man but y'all let me know in the comments what y'all think about that you know um I think that we should be pressing for Shakur and Tank but we should also be pressing for Shakur and Lomachenko especially when considering that Shakur and Lomachenko is the most realistic and easiest to facilitate you know what I'm saying it, ha it has been for a long time since 2017 and 2018 respectively um you know um but yeah man so uh so yeah man y'all let me know what y'all think about that in the comments and uh yeah I appreciate y'all rocking me as always remember with God we can do anything without God we are nothing y'all be easy the doctor's out peace oh also too man let me know who y'all got, man, uh, for this for this weekend, for this fight, man. I think that um, I have Shakur being Artem in a, in a good fight. I think he's going to look impressive. But I think the fight of the night will be Robson Casesa versus Oshiki Foster, man. You know, Robson Casesa is a former adversary of Shakur Stevenson. He's a great fighter. You know, last time we saw him, um, well, was it the last fight? But anyway, I, I just the fight that I remember distinctively from him is his his war ended in a draw with Emmanuel Navarrete. So he's a tough fighter. Oshiki Foster, we already know what he's bringing. You know, shock. He's going to bring that shock value. So I think that's going to be a great fight. I think that's going to be fight of the night, in my opinion. But y'all, yeah, also Keyshawn Davis and Abdullah Mace is on that card too. So man, it should be a pretty good card this this weekend, man. Y'all be easy. God bless. Again, the doctor's out. Peace. From the hood to college, both worlds, they had to meet. Six degrees between us, so cold, we're about to freeze. But we're Florida boys, hot takes, we bring the heat. We're moving the culture, the engineers to the streets.